So I've set up some grouping and some send tracks. But what I'd like to show you now is how to create some buses. These are handy to create submixes. With buses, I'll be routing the audio through to different tracks. Here, all these tracks are being routed through to the master output. And you can see this by going to the routing matrix. To get there, go to View, and down to Routing Matrix. This brings up all the routing in the project. You have all your tracks here. These are the sources, and they're being routed out to destinations, which can be seen over here. All these tracks are going out to output one and two, which is the stereo output. And you can also see the sends that have been set up and how they've been routed. What I'm gonna do is create a bus and send these tracks and route them not to the main output, they're gonna be routed to another track and then to the main stereo output. Let me show you how this is done and why this is useful. Create another track. I want this to be a submix for my drums. So I'll label it drums and I'm gonna drag it after the drums. And for the heck of it, let's change the track layout so it looks different. Let's make it the default with the pan at the bottom so it looks slightly different to the other tracks. And I wanna route these drum tracks through to the drum submix. The benefit of this is that I can add extra processing to the drums as a whole, such as a compression that'll even the overall levels of the drums out and gel them together. I find the best way to do this is through the routing matrix. Here we've got the drum tracks and I wanna send them to the drums over here. So instead of them going to the master output over here, untick these as the outputs. Now read the drums to go to this drum track over here. So just click these boxes to do that. And the drums from here are going through to the main output. So let's close this and test it out. Now when you play back, the drum tracks are being routed through now to the drums bus track. And if I mute it, there are no drums. Or I can solo them and hear just the drums. The beauty of this is that I can add effects that are applied just to the drums as an overall effect. I'm gonna add a compression, dial in the slight compression over here, and bring this threshold down. So you can see the gain reduction here on all the drums. Here's another reason why I like creating all these submixes. Let's choose something crazy. Go to the JS Suite and choose a guitar simulator effect. What I normally do is change this to stereo over here. And this is using an overdrive tweed amp emulator. Play it back. This parameter over here dials in how much percentage of the plugin you want to apply. So you're adding a slight bit of overdrive to the drum submix. This can be used to really dirty up your drum sound. I'm gonna drop the volume a bit as it was clipping. And the same with the compression. Let's dial in a heavy compression. I'm gonna dial in a so-called New York style parallel compression. Pull the attack and release all the way down. Put in a heavy ratio and pull the threshold right down. Put the wet all the way up and the dry all the way down. Now play it back. So there's a heavy amount of gain reduction being applied. Drop the wet a little. Now pull this percentage back to reduce the amount of heavy compression being applied. By dialing in this percentage is what parallel compression is all about. You're bringing back a bit of the clean signal while applying a slight amount of heavy compression. Raise the drum level a bit. And a little bit more. Bypass them and hear what it sounds like with the effects applied. So that's how to create submixes with buses and routing of tracks. I've gone through and created some other submixes. I've got the submix for my drums. I've also created another one for the bass tracks in the song. That's just the bass. And then another one for the synths in the song. So I can easily mute different elements of the song and listen back to them. Can 
drop them out or raise the overall volume. It gives you a bit more flexibility with the mixing of a song. I'll jump across to the routing matrix to show you the routing of these submixes. These are my drums, these are the bass, and these are the synths. I hope that's given you some ideas on how to route your audio around in Reaper. In the following tutorials, I'll look at some creative effects that can be applied to your projects.